the protesters gathered in their thousands outside Parliament because they feel their views are being ignored inside. This is the day of the vote, the day when they might lose part of their way of life. As the crowd pressure built, that front line was pushed forward and the police fought back. Well, as we've already seen, outside the Commons there were violent clashes between police and some of the pro-Hunt supporters. Police say missiles were thrown at officers who were cordoning off Parliament Square. It was a primitive confrontation fuelled by desperate anger. The pro-hunting people know that after centuries a ban is almost upon them. They'd like to get their hands on the anti-hunting MPs. At this stage, however, all they can reach are the police protecting Parliament. But however many fists fly, it seems this ban will go through the Commons today. Sky's Alex Rossi was in the crowd as the violence broke out. Well, we don't really know what has caused this. As you can see, there are some more scuffles going up down here. There's a bit of a surge going on, as you can see, it's breaking out into a full scale. I'm just trying to stabilise the camera for my cameraman. We're being pushed into the police corner as well. The clashes flared as some protesters tried to surge forward towards the Houses of Parliament, where MPs were deciding not just the fate of a sport, but of many livelihoods. Anger which had been reserved for the government, now directed at the police. There's a, there's a man here who uh, appears to have been hit uh, by a bat. My feelings are the police have lost control. We, we were there at the front of the queue. Happened the people were pushing behind us. They set sail into us with trungeons. I mean, we couldn't go backwards, we couldn't go forwards, we couldn't go anywhere. We just ended up getting smacked. Even the arrival of riot police did little to quell frayed tempers. And despite appeals for calm, many were arrested.